Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick tutorial on how to use remote desktop for installing applications on a remote machine. I've already logged in to Lab 21, which is on a remote box. You can see that the remote desktop is loaded, and you can see the tab at the top. What I need to do is install paint.net, so let's go ahead and do a search for it. Paint, if I can type paint.net, and I'll do a search Microsoft. M-I-C-R-O-S-O-F-T. S-O-F-T, Google search. I don't care about whether or not it's encrypted or not. So I wait. Page will load here momentarily. Close net op registration. There is my application. I hold down the control key. I open up the link in a new tab. That's all well and good. Wait for the load, wait for the load, wait for the load. Still waiting for the load. High network traffic right now is slowing us down. Okay. Now I want to download, click on the download. I'm going to open up the net.net .net framework because that's a different link, I know it is. And I'm going to go ahead and start this download over here. I am being redirected, that's fine, I could care less as long as I get the application. So now it's being redirected, download now, go over here, and I'm waiting for the .net framework developer center to load. Click on that, that's all well and good. I want the download x86 version. It is now downloading. This is now downloading. That is downloading. All these things are downloading while I wait. Happy days waiting. Happy days still waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're still waiting. The end goal here is to install Paint. Let's take a look at Paint. Take a look at it, see what it looks like. In the tutorial, we'll have some, actually we have some screenshots here that are useful. Be able to play with images, save to disk, click OK. It's already done. And close that. And let's go take a look at the other install, see how that's going. Download. And once this finishes downloading, we should be able to run paint.net, which is a nice little paint tool, very similar to uh, Photoshop all rights reserved. File download, we're still waiting for it to download. Still waiting, still waiting. Save to disk. Click OK. You can see that it's already downloaded. So let's go to the desktop, start D to the desktop. Go ahead and start install.net FX. It's installing. This is all in a demonstration of show you how long it takes to uh, do a very basic install on remote machines. If you are running a fat client environment, you can see that this is going to take quite some time. So having network permissions that allow you to push applications across all machines at the same time is a critical factor. Otherwise, your IT people are burning up precious time doing simple installations that they're nieces or nephews could do in their sleep, but because of the way networks are configured under XP, most of the time your IT people are going to be spinning their wheels waiting for stuff to, ins uh, to install individually. My recommendations go Linux, but uh, that's just my preference. <clears throat> so while .NET is installing, let's take a look at uh, some of the cool things you can do with Firefox. Again, holding down the control ta holding down the control key, you can open up multiple tabs. Control W to cycle between those tabs, or rather to close those tabs. Control T to create a new tab. Let's go ahead and go back to Google AE.N. That takes us to the English version of Google.com in the era of Emirates. In a moment, it loads and. One other thing we can show you about Firefox, let's go to uh, Project Gutenberg, Project Gutenberg, Google search, and I'll show you how easy it is to search texts on uh, using Google, or rather using uh, Firefox. Let's go see how our install is doing. It's still chunking away, so we wait. And let's go take a look at the da, 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 at one oh the top 100 books. Let's take a look at the top 100. Um, the Notebooks of Leonardo da Vinci. And let's go to the text version. I want the ASCII, so let's go to the main site. 
click on it, and now watch this. I hit the slash key, and it begins to find. See the find down here? Let's do a word, let's do a search for, uh, let's do a search for H-E, H-E, let's do a search for H-E-L-I, nope. Let's do a search for art. Okay, F3, 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 F3. A-R-T appears quite often, so that maybe is not going to be the best word to search for. Uh, let's take a look for sculpture. Let's see what we have to say, what has to say about sculpture. S-U-L-P-T-U-R. Okay, a piece of sculpture which is certainly not Leonardo's work, F3. Some have erred in teaching sculptors to measure the limbs of their figures with threads as if though they thought these limbs were equally round in their part where these threads were wound about them. Okay, that's a wordy way of saying don't use thread to measure sculptures. But you can see that he has written quite a bit on sculptures, and I'm just hitting the F3 key to find all of the instances of where da Vinci mentions sculpture. Very cool that, and it could be very, it could be very useful in any English, uh, in any document that you need to search. Still waiting for the install on .NET. I don't know why it's taking so long. Control W and close that. Still waiting for the install. I wonder why it's taking so long. Still waiting, still waiting. So this is a, again a very good demonstration of why uh, network administrators um, cost so much and why they're not necessarily being as effective as they could be given how much time it takes to do a very simple installation. So let's do a search or do an install paint.net which was our original goal. Once it's installed it's going to load up here, give it two seconds, three seconds, there it is, quick. We're going to go ahead and install English. I do agree to the terms, click next, click next, preparing to install and in two more seconds here, we should have a successful installation of the paint.net paint application. Almost done, almost done. And again, the whole point of this demonstration was to show you how remote desktop can be used to administer machines on a network and install applications on a network. We're almost done here. In a second, I'll be able to give a final demonstration of paint.net working. Uh, but it's certainly taking a lot longer than it should. Taking a lot longer than it should. Let's see, closing any other applications makes it go a little faster. That does not appear to be the case. Optimizing performance for my system. This may take a minute. It certainly is taking a minute. So, the joys of a network administrator. Managers, take note, if you're watching this, how much of what you're paying your administrator is spent sitting in front of a machine waiting for an application to install. This is burn up time. This is waste time. This is your brains not being used time. This is your money being burned up time waiting for an installation. How much do you pay your network administrators? How much do you pay them to sit here and watch installations? This is what you get when you get a NextP environment. Okay, we are finally finished. Click on paint.net, it should load. Give it a moment. And it's installed. Okay, so, successful installation took us, oh, six minutes. If you have a network of 24 machines, do the math. Six times, 120, six times 24, 120, 144 minutes. That is uh, almost four full hours. Six, three, yeah, four full hours of your network administrator twiddling thumbs waiting for installations. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dan Daniels and this has been a quick tutorial on the use of remote desktop.